Hi there, and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friends. Have you ever had a case of the munchies and you really didn't have a clue what you were really hungry for, but you've raided all of your cupboards and you've looked in the fridge and you end up putting the bag of microwave popcorn in the microwave and you eat it and you feel vaguely guilty, feel sort of full. Now imagine when you're in that state of you're feeling full and you get a phone call and it's from a friend. Hey, I'm having an impromptu steak barbecue and I'd love for you to come. Now imagine if you ate two bags of that microwave popcorn and now you're completely stuffed. How would you feel if you missed that amazing barbecue? In a spiritual sense, let's look at it this way. Our spirits catch a whiff of the heady fragrance of a heavenly banquet that the Lord is preparing for us. And we feel his tug asking us to come near. He's inviting us to feast at his table. But while we're waiting, because sometimes we have to wait when it comes to the things of God, we become restless and hungry inside. and. We're slow in recognizing where that hunger or dissatisfaction or boredom is coming from. And so we feast on stuff that probably isn't really good for us, but hey, it fills the time. We might fill our minds and our hearts on mindless entertainment or the busyness of life. Sometimes we even fill that need uh, for intimacy with working for the Lord or trying to help other people. And all the time the Lord is calling us, just wait a few more minutes. Uh, supper's almost done. And yet we raid the cookie jar, so to speak. And so when the big meal comes, we feel sluggish inside because we filled our spiritual and our emotional beings with stuff that leaves us malnourished, even though we might feel full inside. When Jesus calls us to the dinner table to feast on him, when we've kind of done that sort of thing, we've got no appetite left. We find that we're distracted. We find that we're not thirsting after righteousness. Jesus says in Matthew 5 verse 8 that there is a blessing for those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. And that's much more than just feeling that you've had a whole bunch of empty calories. Darren Wilson has traveled the world documenting modern genuine moves of God. And he has been asked the following question quite often, and I think he will give us some insight into this problem that I'm talking about. People often ask me why it seems as if God isn't moving in the West as he is elsewhere. Jesus declared that he is the bread of life. However, if you are to feast on the bread of life, you first need to be hungry. I think too many of us leave the bread on the table because we're full on everything else that the world has to offer. It's not that we don't have the bread. It's just that we don't eat it because we're not hungry. Kind of a sobering statement, but it is a true one. If we're looking to be entertained, and if we are looking to find our comfort in external sources outside of God, then when God calls us to go deep onto deep, we're going to feel dissatisfied. And unfortunately, I hear many people say, you know, I tried having quiet times and I tried reading my Bible, but you know, it just seemed to me kind of empty and kind of bland. If you've ever eaten a loaf of homemade 
whole wheat bread that's just come out of the oven, trust me, you will never think of a slice of bread being ho-hum ever again. So feast on the bread of life because that's where you're going to find your true nourishment.